Hello everybody, welcome to CCL Season 52 first round match between Demon Ted, or Demonted if you like, <laughs> and Vava, last season's finest I think with Chaos. Um, maybe finalist, maybe not. Can't remember, don't care. <laughs> Classic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Vava with Pro Elves and uh, three journeymen uh, and a wizard. So there you go, it's interesting, isn't it? The wizard. But only 11 men. Some pretty good players, to be fair. I mean, this is terrible. Obviously, strong arm is awful. Should never take it. Um, exactly, Pedro. Exactly. Uh, strength falls good, isn't he? Guards good. And mighty blows. A bit rubbish. And it's pretty nice. Demon Ted's pretty decent. Um, really nice warriors. A couple of warriors that are really nice. Some all right ones. A rack of gold. Claw power without tackle. Ball carrier. Bro, you left it. Chaos. So, anything can happen. It's super exciting. Don't go anywhere. This is going to be amazing, guys. You can hear how excited I am. Thrilled to watch this game. Can't wait. It's going to be amazing, guys. It's going to be amazing. This is, you know, this is going to be a tactical masterclass the likes you've never seen before. So here's Demon Ted allowing his ball carrier to get hit on turn two. <laughs> By Mighty Blow. Doesn't, doesn't get him cast. <laughs> Not the best player. Uh, one of them. One of them did, Tom Schneers. One of, one of the rats won. Um, he had like a triangular team... Uh, Team logo. Yep. <laughs> At least we all got to watch rats lose. Ah, oh, sick one. Thanks, Fluxstream. <laughs> I've got no idea if six won in Chalice or not. I just said that as a thing. Um, Chalice thing's pretty good. Oh, look, he's winning Chalice three times before. So there you go. He's a four time first round Chalice winner. <laughs> Which is basically better than. <laughs> basically better than Skiramezzo's three SFL titles. <laughs> Indeed, dearly, indeed. Well, of course, there is the there is the Sol Cumrat, the new emote, <laughs> the new emote that we have. <laughs> um, so you know that's a that's a great emote there for you. Crocs me up. <laughs> Oh, look at that. He's taken four skills on that thrower and has managed to not take block or wrestle, so has to expend a reroll on hitting with it. What a player. What a player, guys. Some people might say that strong arm, you know, isn't as good as guard and accurate isn't as good as block. But, you know, who can say? Who can say if it's good or bad? Oh, gets to hit the so we got to hit the uh, ball carrier last turn. Gets to hit the rackler this turn. Pretty nice. Just dodging for extra hits. Stand firm, so no, no, no hit and gives up one. Will we see a lovely blitz here to get an extra hit? No. Oh, 
I mean, guard's still good, isn't it, Perovale? Certainly, certainly better than a strong arm. Shite step. Well, dirty player foul on the mighty blow. That is a strange, a strange weakening of the D. <laughs> Something that Dimmy knows all about. Well, hey, uh, that seems a terrible, terrible foul. Terrible foul. Like, it's just letting him run up the side, isn't it? Could have even gone through the warrior, like, to... either one was fine. Like, this, this DP could have been over here, strengthening the center a bit. It's like it's not a super, super relevant guy, is it? He got a foul. God damn it. <laughs> I didn't think of that kind of foxhole. <laughs> herp derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burp, burp, burp. That's a lovely, lovely position for this guy, isn't it? Yeah, you can go one more. Well, he should have gone one more. I think one more is way better. I think it's wrong to not be one more. But, you know, hey, because now this guy goes through there. One, two, three, four, five. You would have had to have gone around him. And then do a GFI to get there. This guy, uh, actually, yeah, that would, no, he, would, he could have gone below and then gone up. So it would have been fine. But he would have got in the way of this one a little bit. So now Demon Ted is basically out of ideas and just blitzing with Corp on like an idiot every time, which is, you know. Now when I say like an idiot, what I mean is, I'm not saying it's idiotic to blitz with Klopham every turn, but it's not exactly, like, it doesn't matter if you're the best player in the world or the worst player in the world if all you're doing is blitzing with Klopham every turn, right? That's, that's what I mean. So, it's, yeah, it's just mindless, isn't it? It's mindless. It doesn't matter how good you are if your game plan is blitzing with Klopham every turn. It is essentially a mindless, idiotic play style. And... While obviously he's using his brain with all of the other movements in the turn, this one is just... But, you know, it's it's often good. Like, it won Rick a chalice, you know? Like, it literally won Rick the chalice. And, like, Rick exemplified mindless play in the chalice that he won. <laughs> so, you know, um, it's not to say that it's the wrong thing to do. It's just I feel like... Maybe if you're better than your opponent, you should try and do something to show it. But maybe not, you know? Maybe not, because it's really fucking powerful. Claw plumbing every turn is really fucking powerful. So you'll often hear PC berating Claw plumbing that, and it's like, well... The problem is the odds are so far in its favour. There's a lot to be said for just doing it as much as possible. Do I feel he could have made, mounted a much better defence? Yes. But, you know what? He could have mounted a better defence and still given up the turn 8 stall. Or at least this way he might have made loads of cards from his, his claw pom hits. So it's... Who knows, eh? Who can say if it's good or bad? Yeah, true, true. Maybe, uh, maybe he just wants to claw on while he still can. Completely valid attitude. <laughs> Is it? Kind of. Big foul. Nothing. You do nothing. Mike, 
go in here? I think don't think he should, but I guess he might. Still, it's so easy to stall. He's got to. Yes, Ham. Yep, did that one first. Just doing them in order on the sheet. Well, what you should do, Ham, is watch. Uh, Watch the VOD of the YouTube video. <laughs> but uh, he did not, he did not loose. No. Nice. Work a lot for a living. Still can't afford to sub, eh? <laughs> oh, I'm just joking. I don't expect anything. Funny, wasn't it? No, oh, diced. Well, super easy to stall this out for another turn. So yeah, pretty pretty easy drive for Vava here. Nothing really from demonted. Um, made a couple of removals, got a couple of removed himself. But you know, at the end of the day, uh, Vava's been a little bit with Mighty Blood nearly every turn, and uh, Demon Ted hasn't really done a whole lot on defense. Like you know, probably has been unlucky, right? He has club a bit. Um, Do a lot to stop the score. You can't. You can't. You shouldn't. I don't think he should feel bad about conceding this touchdown because he didn't really try very hard to stop it. We don't know Jay Bazza and Nolly was here earlier, but has since fucked off. So if they have organised it. PC would put it on his Discord if he scheduled it, wouldn't he? Let me have a look. Upcoming games is empty. So... One can assume they have not scheduled. Oh! DP foul. Out comes the apple. He finally got his wish of getting rid of that mighty blow guy for the apple. Uh... Make it 2D is obviously totally fine here. There's a lot of payoff for a 1 in 12 9 6 risk. So we go. Valmar goes in at half time. Well, not necessarily. Probably goes in at half time 1 0 up. Oh, the ball carrier stays out for Demonted. And Demonted is pretty lucky in that his Claw Pommer and his Warrior are guaranteed for the second half. And obviously, this is after all the 2 plus anyway, so having to roll 4 plus isn't that bad in the grand scheme of things.
it could be a riot. Realistically, a quick snap. One turn isn't going to happen, and a quick snap isn't going to help. Let's try to do some damage. Pretty, it's a pretty toothless team, really, isn't it? Actually, he's got the Claw Mighty and two Claw Palm, but outside of that, it's not like rippling with Mighty Claw. Interesting, won't it? Nolly versus PC. Nolly's big themselves up. PC, for once, is correct in downplaying his chances. Obviously, Nolly's a huge favourite, but PC is going to give it his all, isn't he? His little, he's going to play his little dwarf heart out. The ball carrier stays out, that was pretty shit. And luckily there is no heat spawning in the game, lovely. There's still 11 Pro Elves and only 10 Chaos. And the Chaos are down their ball carrier, so... Probably feeling pretty shit about that is Demon Ted. Might be tilting a little bit. Maybe tilting as much as Dari Wuss. Who knows. Darius wasn't tilted and he just misclicked. Oh, Roman Reigns is the answer to that question, Ham. Bit of a good day in Excel, this, isn't it? Almost a good day in Excel. But, um, I mean, I'm always completely neutral. I myself am always neutral. May the person who rolls the best dice win. <laughs> Fuck off, Dimmy. <laughs> Except Dimmy. Fuck Dimmy. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a joke, of course. <laughs> Dimmy's great. Dimmy, I would cheer for. This, this is tricky now, isn't it? Because obviously, if, it, if there was no wizard... <laughs> there's no wizard, then... We'd be looking at 1-1 one, one in overtime, but the wizard is something demonted as, uh, has really got to uh, worry about. Wow, tries here. Terrific kick, 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 kick. What a leg end. The biggest one trick pony there is. <laughs> I 
<laughs> oh my! Oh yeah. To be fair, the terrific fuck off Dimmy is is even better than the AAB fuck off Dimmy. <laughs> that, was, that was pretty much the highlight of uh, of Among Us for me. It was, it was try saying fuck off Dimmy. <laughs> that might even be why the fuck off Dimmy EAB thing happened, was just because I like that so much. One trip pony, that's pretty good. Fuck off Dimmy. <laughs> It was my idea to have when it, when he does versus space gym it says fuck off to me. But it was great, great the bezel made it. Holy shit. <laughs> well So I mean it's looking pretty easy, right? It's looking pretty easy for the chaos. However, there is the wizard. So as easy as this looks. And as much as they can put the wrong players, um, they've just got to be really scared about the wizard, haven't they? Really scared about the wizard. And yeah, it does suck they haven't got tackle on any of their... Uh, well, first of all, they haven't really got claw. So they've just got pommers. And they've got no tackle on them. Oh, I guess to you stand firm, how exciting. Super interesting, isn't it? Do you hit the do you hit the blood stepper and then hit him or do you go through the weak link and he goes through the weak link? The problem here is if you go up here now, you look pretty weak to a wizard. So maybe he just gets to halfway and tries to have some things out in front. This is very dangerous he goes up here, I think. Sure looks like he's going there though. Will we see the instant full wizard this turn? Nope, we'll see an instant dodge fail. Well, he survives the wizard, <laughs> and now can make this really safe. Fantastic play from Vava there, knew the first thing he did was going to be a double one. <laughs> Looking like a good possibility all the time. Ooh. Now, who can say if that's shit and wrong? But I'm going to say that's shit and wrong. I get that it covers you, your killer from his killer's blitz, but I think you needed it around the ball. Because here we go straight away. Vava 
has kind of split the team and is coming for his balls. If that warrior had been near the ball, he'd been in a lot better spot. Does Demonte just have to score now? I guess he can come back up. Oh wow, that's a GFI. Did he know it was a GFI? That's surely a mistake, right? That's sure. Whiz now, even though you don't need to. I think you whiz just to make sure. Um, surely that was a mistake, right? Surely that was. He just didn't didn't count or whatever. I miscounted that. It surely couldn't have been a purposeful 3 plus GF. Surely. Making good use of the strong arm here. <laughs> yeah, that had to be a mistake. Of some, of some kind, either miss, misclick or misread or whatever. Oh look, a random elf passes instead of the one with passing skills. It's almost like having passing skills is a fucking terrible idea, isn't it? Weird that. Weird how that works. Surprised to not hit him, I guess he's got stand for him. But still I like him for the, the one in nine fail not being as bad. And then you can dodge the other one out. Oh, wow. Gets the power. I'm not in the crowd. Oh, this looks absolutely fucked for Demon Ted, doesn't it? No, it's looking... It's looking very grim now for the chaos. Yeah, so it was the combination of the uh, of the warrior, this warrior, in fact, going there. But the main thing was the three plus. Eight. What a mistake at a maker! Play for an hour and a half, and one mistake costs you the game. Classic Blood Bowl. I do find that pretty annoying, especially when, you know, streaming and trying, you know, to look at chat and everything and interact with that and then you end up losing a little bit of concentration and then bam, one, one. One sloppy move can lead to losing the game. Especially bad, of course, when your opponent makes multiple moves that don't cost him the game. <laughs> ah, found him with strong arm. Great idea. Strong arm making that a KO. Wow. Oh, it's irrelevant apple, isn't it? I, I guess he could have powered into there, then the ball could have been thrown in one in three all the way back here, and then so he could have then he could have gone and picked it up and passed it to him, and he could have scored. But realistically, it's just a pointless apple, isn't it? But I mean, he's going up anyway, so there's no reason to not up away, I guess. The chance of you getting a better apple is low, I guess. So even though the chance of that apple doing anything is super low, the chance of there being a better apple later is even lower, isn't there? So I guess it was correct to use the apple then, as pointless as it was. Correct. 
there you go. Congratulations, Vava. He had his brainless chaos last season, and now he's got his 11-man Pro Elves uh, beating Demon Ted. So congratulations to him. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.